have been reserved for the king's pleasure. Therefore, the king's portion is reserved for you. A prepared position awaits you with the king of kings sitting at the head of the table. He desires that you sup with him in the presence of your enemies. By accepting his personal invitation, your needs are met, the desires of your heart fulfilled, and to top it off, you will receive the exceeding abundant above all you can ask for or even think of. Imagine that. The more you understand the king's heart, without a shadow of a doubt, you will begin to make more room for heaven's treasures. Welcome to King's Portion. This is Catherine Joy Foster. And the theme of our program today is it's a Nabi blessing inside and out. And this is part 12. We are going to look in Psalm 67th Division. And this is from the Passion Translation. And it reads, God, keep us near your grace fountain and bless us. And when you look down on us, may your face beam with joy. Pause in his presence. Sent us out all over the world so that everyone everywhere will discover your ways and know who you are and see your power to save. Let all the nations burst forth with praise that everyone everywhere love and enjoy you. Then how glad the nations will be when you are their king. They will sing. They will shout for you. Give true justice to the people. Yes, you, Lord, are the shepherd of the nations. Pause in his presence. No one of the peoples praise you. Let all the people praise you more. The harvest of the earth is here. God, the very God we worship, keeps us satisfied at his banquet of blessings, and the blessings keep coming. Then all the ends of the earth will give him the honor he deserves and be in awe of him. What it's saying is that our faith is having the say so. It has the authority to ask and to intercede for the entire earth. And in verse 2, it says that we would see your power to save. And those two words in the King James Version are saving health and they mean deliverance aid welfare help victory and because the saving health actually are the same two words in hebrew is letting you know that this is going to be a double honor that he is going to give us and this is the double honor for the shame because he said he's coming with true justice but it takes your faith to save so. So what you want to be able to do is anticipate the earth's fruitful harvest that keeps going and going and going because the praise doesn't stop. So what is the message for today? It's all about joy. Refrain from thinking that joy wavers. In reality, the joy of the Lord is a glorious and triumphant state that never changes. In other words, you can't lose Faced with a battle, the party who declares no low contender indicates that his desire is not to contend at all. Now, a challenger is willing to fight but has no evidence if he'll win or lose. But a champion holds the winning position for now, but any future fight can be taken away from them and the title that goes along with it. But once a conqueror wins, he never loses any ground that's been taken. Now that represents the one and only invincible Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Now better than that is you inheriting the winning position without a fight as more than a conqueror. It carries the same weight as if you were the conqueror. Engaging any battle, you begin and end a predetermined victor. Why? It's because your joyful praise keeps the fight fixed in your favor. I'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. Please plan to stay tuned for the entire program today. The Catherine Joy Foster Music Ministries is a 21st century multimedia marketplace ministry. In your discovery, you will find the power of God present to go where you are, to take you where Jesus is, raising you up, repairing you, restoring you, so that you can be as Jesus is in this world. 
now available for workshops, banquets, conferences, webinars, concerts, prayer meetings. You can call area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Again, that's area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Proud to be an advertiser for King's Portion Web Radio. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is a tsunami blessing inside and out. It's all about joy. So we frame up from thinking that joy wavers. In reality, the joy of the Lord is a triumphant and glorious state that never changes. In other words, you can't lose. But if you are facing a battle, the person who declares no low contender indicates that he does not want to contend at all. Now, a challenger is willing to fight, but has no evidence if he'll win or lose. A champion, on the other hand, holds the winning title and winning position for now, but he's not sure of what would happen in the future if his title will be taken away or not. But once a conqueror wins, he never loses any ground taken. Now that is the one and only invincible Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Now better than that is you inheriting the winning position without a fight as more than a conqueror. Now that carries the same weight as a conqueror. Engaging any battle, you begin and end as a predetermined victor. Your joyful praise keeps the fight fixed in your favor. Now, we said first we want to be able to anticipate the earth's fruitful harvest that keeps going and going and going and never stops. So God is responding to praise with that. But we said there's going to be full justice that God is going to lead himself. So now we're talking about you're going to have full satisfaction because the enemy's fruit and seed are both are going to be annihilated so you can keep moving. Now in Psalm 21, this is a King James Version, and this is King David actually interceding to God. And you can see that in that he's talking in the third person so that he's including his reign, but then also future reigns. And it says, the king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice. Thou have given him his heart's desire and have not withholden the request of his lips. Selah. For thou advancest him with the blessings of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked of life, and thou gavest to me even length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation. Honor and majesty thou have laid upon him, for thou have made him most blessed forever. Thou have made him exceeding glad with thy countenance. For the king trusteth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies, and thy right hand shall find out all those who hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device which they cannot perform. Therefore thou shalt make them turn their back and when thou make thine arrows ready upon thy strings against the face of them be thou exalted lord in thine own strength so shall we seem and praise thy power so this is david praising god and giving him the right of way and said okay the person who sits on the right is the one who reigns. So he's saying, even though I have the right to reign in the earth, I'm giving you, Lord, the right to reign. So I know it's going to be done correctly. So now the enemy seed and his fruit are both destroyed. So he, that's a thing he tried to, to actually plant in the middle of the night where you couldn't see. But he says that it is seen by God and it will be overturned by God. On our program today, you're going to enjoy the music of Benny Palmer. And you're going to welcome him now as he presents Funky Bone. When we think of Funky Bones, everything within you is praising God. Everything you uh, has a rhythm of life that shows that God 
is Lord, that he is the king of glory. He is the king of kings. I'll be right back after a song. us on the web at blog.kingsportionlive.com. That's blog.kingsportionlive.com. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is a tsunami blessing inside and out. You know, it's all about joy. So refrain from thinking that joy ever wavers. In reality, the joy of the Lord is a glorious and triumphant state that never changes. In other words, you can't lose 
faced with a battle, the person who declares no low contender indicates that he or she will not contend at all. Now, a challenger is willing to fight, but has no evidence if he'll win or lose. A champion holds the winning position for now, but any future fight can take that title away. But once a conqueror wins, he never loses any ground. And that's the one and only invincible Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Now, better than that is you inheriting the winning position without a fight as more than a conqueror. It carries the same weight as if you were the conqueror. Engage in any battle, you begin and end as the predetermined victor. Now, your joyful praise keeps the fight fixed in your favor. So first we said that, yes, you are to anticipate the earth's fruitful harvest that never ends. And then secondly, we said, now this is God who is going to bring you satisfaction because he's removing the enemy's fruit and the enemy's seed to try to come against you. Now, when we look at this, that there is restitution from the enemy. There is restitution from the enemy that won't be able to trace anywhere on earth. Why? Because you'll find that God is the greatest undercover agent. Let's look in Jeremiah, the first chapter, the 10th through the 12th verses. And this is from the Amplified Version from the Classic Edition. And it reads, see, I have this day appointed you to have the oversight of the nations and of the kingdoms to root out and pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch or shoot of an almond tree, the emblem of alertness and activity blooming in late winter. Then said the Lord to me, you have seen well, for I am alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. So here is Jeremiah being tasked as the apostolic architect in the earth through his voice. And God is using his voice upon Jeremiah's voice to bring heaven to earth. And so what he's saying is that even though it looks like something is blossoming in late winter, which is a time for the land to rest, he says, what do you see? He says, I see a branch. Now this branch and this shoot does not have a root. So it won't be able to be traced anywhere in the earth at all, but yet it will blossom in late winter. So we're saying that, then you know that the, he's taken all the possibilities off of what that seed can do. And he said that, yes, you shall receive restitution from the enemy, restitution from the enemy, and God is going to direct it in the earth. Anytime that there is a building project, if there is something there or nothing there at all, it takes more time for the foundation to be built. So he's working underground and then after when it gets above ground, then it can sprout and it can accelerate and it can accumulate to the harvest and the return on investment and return on loss and damages and injury and pain and suffering that the enemy has tried to cause you, God is wants you to know that he has you in mind, has marked you to receive restitution from the enemy because surely you're going to receive double honor for the shame. I'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. I was just standing there basking in the sun and all of a sudden I was soaking wet. There wasn't a sign in the sky so I was unprepared without an umbrella but in the end it just didn't matter. I loved every minute of it. I knew I was living under open heavens. It really does give new meaning to being overtaken by blessing. Not a dry spot. This is Fran the Fan of HDO uh oh, here comes the rain again. You've been listening to King's Portion Live with web host Catherine Joy Foster. Thanks for staying tuned to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is a tsunami blessing inside and out. It's all about joy. So refrain from thinking that joy wavers. In reality, 
The joy of the Lord is a glorious and triumphant state that never changes. In other words, you can't lose. Faced with a battle, the party who declares no low contender indicates that he has a desire not to contend at all. Now, a challenger is willing to fight, but has no evidence if he'll win or lose. A champion holds a winning position for now, but any future fight can take away that title. But once a conqueror wins, he never loses any ground that's taken. And who is that? The one and only invincible Jesus Christ. No better than that is you inheriting the winning position without the fight as more than a conqueror. It carries the same weight as if you were a conqueror the conqueror himself. It carries the same weight. Now, so for you engaging any battle, you begin and end as a predetermined victor. Your joyful praise keeps the fight fixed in your favor. So first we said yes, for you to anticipate the earth's fruitful harvest that keeps going and going. Why? Because of the praise erupt in the earth all over the world. And you are to intercede for that to happen. So God can bring full justice. And then secondly, we said that there's going to be satisfaction that you're going to receive because the enemy's fruit and the enemy's seed is going to not only be exposed, but it's going to be removed. So then you can keep going throughout the earth because this is God leading the battle. This is God leading as the judge who has responsibility to you to give the restitution. So number three says that yes, you will get the restitution from the enemy because God is going to do something that does not have even a root in the earth. So it's going to spring forth even at a time of year that the land should rest. So it can't be traced in the earth. Now let's look at number four. Redemption gives you the opportunity to have a flourishing finish. There is a release in the earth that comes through praise, the praise up your lips. And it could be a sacrifice of praise. That means you don't really feel like doing it, but you're doing it. Or the sacrifice of faith that yes, is the best that you can do. But let's look in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the 46th through the 48th verses from the Living Bible. And it reads, these horrors shall befall you and your descendants as a warning. You will become slaves to your enemies because of your failure to praise God for all he has given you. The Lord will send your enemies against you and you will be hungry, thirsty, naked, and in want of everything. A yoke of iron will be placed around your neck until you are destroyed. What's it saying is that God has already satisfied their needs and given them more than they need. But what's happening here is that they won't praise him because they are complaining. And I remember once God told me, he said, when you complain, you're saying, I'm not taking good care of, of you. So you have to make sure we have to be careful because we are drawing in another spirit of a lack and also desolation when we actually withhold praise from him. Now, let's see what happens in Psalm 104, the 10th through the 18th verse from the Living Bible, when praise is not with help from God. We can see what happens that God responds to our praise. It says that he, that's God, placed springs in the valleys and streams that gush from the mountains. They give water for all the animals to drink. There the wild donkeys quench their thirst and the birds nest beside the streams and sink among the branches of the trees. He sends rain upon the mountains and fills the earth with fruit. The tender grass grows up at his command to feed the cattle. And there are fruit trees, vegetables, and grain for man to cultivate and wine to make man glad and olive oil as lotion for his skin and bread to give him strength. The Lord planted the cedars of Lebanon. They are tall and flourishing. There the birds make their nests, the storks in the firs. High in the mountains are pastures for the wild goats. 
and rock badgers barrel in among the rocks and find protection there. So that means it's going to be something for everyone and everyone and everything and every animal is going to praise the Lord. Again, on our program, I want you to enjoy the music of Vinnie Palmer. Now let's welcome him as he presents My Element and I'll be right back.
Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is a tsunami blessing inside and out. You know, it's all about joy. So we frame from thinking that joy wavers. In reality, the joy of the Lord is a glorious and triumphant state that never changes. In other words, you can't lose. Faced with a battle, the party who declares no low contender indicates he has the desire not to contend. A challenger is willing to fight, but has no evidence if he or she will ever win or lose. Now, a champion holds a winning position for now, but the, any future fight can take that title away. But once a conqueror wins, he never loses any ground. And that is the one and only invincible Jesus Christ. Now, better than that is you inheriting the winning position without the fight as more than a conqueror. And it carries the same weight as if you were the conqueror yourself engaging any battle you begin and end as a predetermined victor. So your joyful praise keeps the fight fixed in your favor. So let's look at this. Anticipate the earth's fruitful harvest that keeps going. Why? Because God now is the one who's leading true justice. Number two, let's look at there'll be satisfaction that you'll receive, total satisfaction from the enemy's fruit and seed being removed from the earth and that'll be led by God as well. Number three, restitution from the enemy will not be able to be traced in the earth because God is the greatest undercover agent in the whole world. So he is going to bring you a harvest without a root. Number four, redemption gives you the opportunity to have a flourishing finish. Why? Because you're going to yet pray Praise him for who he is. And number five, let's look at this. Contradiction can't be your script for harvest. We're going to look in Habakkuk, the third chapter, the 17th through the 19th verses. This is from the message translation. It reads, though the cherry trees don't blossom and the strawberries don't ripen, though the apples are worm eaten and the wheat fields stunted, though the sheep pens are sheepless and the cattle barns empty, I'm singing joyful praise to God. I'm turning cartwheels of joy to my Savior God. Counting on God's rule to prevail, I take heart and gain strength. I run like a deer. I feel like I'm king of the mountain. So in this is saying that even though what I see here, touch, taste, and smell has nothing to do with harvest, but it sure looks like a barrenness. He says that my praise is going to be greater than my barrenness. Now let's also look in Psalm, the fourth division, the fifth through the eighth verses. And this is from the voice translation. It reads from this day forward, offer to God the right sacrifice from a heart made right by God. Entrust yourself to the eternal. Crowds of disheartened people say, well, who can show us what is good? And so this is the prayer that's being prayed. Let your brilliant face shine on us, O eternal one, that we may know the undeniable answer. You have filled me with joy and happiness and has risen in my heart. Great delight and unraveled joy, even more than when bread abounds and wine flows Freely tonight, I will sleep securely on a bed of peace because I trust you alone. Oh, eternal one will keep me safe. And then this instance is showing that the praise is greater than the bounty they receive. So that means when you praise, you praise and it needs to be greater even then when you are in barrenness. But you also need to praise and it should be greater than even when you have received the harvest. But you may say that you don't qualify. And I'm saying all you need to do is ask Jesus into your heart right now. And he will come in because he's been suing you any old way. So why don't you give your heart to Jesus right now. And he will be the Savior and Lord of the harvest for you as well. Say to your Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, I acknowledge that I need a savior and I acknowledge the blood of Jesus as being the perfect sacrifice for me. 
come into my heart to be the Lord and Savior of my life. Now I realize that old things have passed away and all things have become new. And now I'm the newest creation in the body of Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for my salvation. Now, if you said that prayer, why don't you email us at info at kingsportionlive.com. That's info at kingsportionlive.com and we'll send you some encouragement along the way. Now, let's return to the remaining portions of King's Portion Live after this message from our sponsor. We invite you to visit our new interactive website. Please log on to www.kingsportionlive.org. That's www.kingsportionlive.org. We believe that you will discover something that will speak to the royal blood in you. Thanks for staying tuned for the conclusion of our program today, which bears the theme, the tsunami blessing inside and out. You know, it's all about joy. So reframe from thinking that joy ever wavers. In reality, the joy of the Lord is a glorious and triumphant state that never changes. In other words, you can't lose. Faced with the battle, the party who declares no law contend there indicates his desire not to contend a challenger is willing to fight, but he has no evidence if he'll win or lose. A champion holds a winning position for now, but any future fight can take that title away. But once a conqueror wins, he never loses any ground taken. And you can see that in the one and only invisible Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Now, better than that is you inheriting the winning position without the fight as more than a conqueror. It carries the same weight as if you were the conqueror. Now, engaging in the battle, you begin and end as the predetermined victor. Your joyful praise keeps the fight fixed in your favor. So he says, number one, first, we want to anticipate the future harvest of the whole earth that never stops because now... God is the king of glory and he is also one that is over and leading the true justice for everyone in the earth. We also say, yes, there is satisfaction. You're going to get full satisfaction from the, the lawsuit that you have against Satan, the accuser of the brother, because he's cast down. And then in that satisfaction, all the enemy's fruit and all the enemy seed will be completely annihilated, removed from your life forever. He won't have a chance. And then number three was saying that restitution from the enemy will be by God. And you won't be able to trace it in the earth because God is the greatest undercover agent in the whole world. Number four, you're going to see redemption because it's going to give you an opportunity to have a flourishing finish. So that means that you have to know that there is decrease and demise when you don't praise him and you won't praise him, but there is a flourishing finish when you choose to praise him. You'll be able to see the fruitful harvest. Then number five, he says, contradiction cannot be your script if you want to have a harvest. And what happens here is that your praise has to be greater than your barrenness. And number two, your praise has to be greater than any bounty. Number six, let's look at the qualifications of the one who seizes the harvest from the enemy. And we're talking about you. We're talking about triumphant praise. In Psalm 149 division, the from the Passion Translation reads, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. It's time to sing to God a brand new song so that all his holy people will hear how wonderful he is. May Israel be enthused with joy because of him and may the sons of Zion pour out their joyful praise to their king. Break forth with dancing, make music and sing God's praises with the rhythm of drums for he enjoys his faithful lovers. He adorns the humble with his beauty and he loves to give them the glory. His godly lovers triumph 
in the glory of God and their joyful praises will rise even while others sleep. God's high and a holy praises fill their mouths for their shouted praises are their weapons of war. These warring weapons will bring vengeance on every opposing force and every resistant power to bind kings with chains and rulers with iron shackles. Praised field warriors will enforce the judgment doom declared against their enemies. This is the glorious honor he gives to all his godly lovers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So don't let the enemy silence your voice. Let your voice erupt in praise to God because then you'll be able to see the harvest has come in full manifestation. The harvest has come with great expectation and you'll see that the blessing shall flow as far as the curse is found. This is Catherine Joy Foster for King's Portion where we speak to the royal blood in you. You have been listening to the King's Portion with radio host Catherine Joy Foster. Today's podcast is available for download. Log on to blog.kingsportionlive.com or email info at kingsportionlive.com.